Hi, my name is Jackie and welcome back to my channel. It is July 25th, which means it's my birthday. Today I am celebrating turning 32. I almost said 22, but I am definitely not 22. <laughs> I am celebrating turning 32 with, of course, you guessed it, a cup of tea. Last year I celebrated my birthday with a cup of birthday tea from Adagio Teas. This year, I'm still drinking a birthday inspired tea, but it's not from Adagio Teas. But before we get into that, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and smash that subscription button so you know when I upload. We like to talk about tea here. So, the tea that I am drinking today comes from Bird and Blend, and it is their birthday tea. I'm thinking maybe this would be kind of a cool tradition to do on my birthday. Pick a birthday inspired tea from. I don't know, somebody, and sip it on my birthday and share it with you guys. So, this year, this year I am drinking birthday cake from Bird and Blend. So the birthday cake tea from Bird and Blend is a blend of rooibos, Sri Lankan black tea, sprinkles, almond pieces, mallow flowers, and vanilla flavoring. And Bird and Blend writes that birthday cake is a vanilla sponge with notes of sweet icing and cake sprinkles. And, and it looks like... It looks like Oliver is going to be joining us in this video because, I don't know, what's nap time anymore? Oh, Biscuit's joining us too. Everybody's just coming here to celebrate my birthday with me. And are you just eating stickers? Can I have it? You're just looking at my hand. Thank you. Please tell me I'm not the only parent who has a kid that just keeps eating paper and stickers. Now I know that a couple videos ago I talked about how following my my gigantic super massive bird and blend haul, you know, I kind of tasted a whole bunch of teas and wasn't really struck by any of them to jump in front of a camera and tell you guys how amazing it is. And you know, to be honest, I kind of feel the same way about this tea too. It's it's not like the best birthday cake blend that I've tried, but it's still pretty good. Now considering this is a fairly simple blend, the, uh, the fragrance of it is, is just so luscious and powerful. It is f like fruity, like, I don't know what kind of fruit, like, like, like almost like tutti fruity, which is kind of weird because I don't think that there's really any kind of ingredient in here that is that tutti fruity flavor. Almost like that rainbow zebra stripe gum or maybe juicy fruit which sounds really bizarre. And don't let that turn you off because that's not what it tastes like. That's just what it smells like. To me, it smells really good. I mean, it smells it smells like childhood because those are those were the gums that I liked to chew when I was a little kid. But how does it taste? It is unmistakably rooibos, for sure. But I have to say that I really like their rooibos blends because I think that rooibos is one of those teas or tisanes, I guess, that if you oversteep it, it can turn into sort of this medicinal type drink. It just, it for me, it almost tastes like alcohol and it's really strange and kind of off-putting. I mean, I steeped this for about six minutes and, and it's just so smooth. While the rooibos is present, it doesn't overpower all the other flavors. There's also a really nice fruitiness to this, which I don't think I know what fruit it is. Um, and, I, and maybe it's something that's coming from the rooibos. I, I don't really know, because I guess I don't really necessarily think of rooibos and fruit. At least, not the rooibos blends that I've had from, say, David's Tea or... Um, or adagio teas. But yeah, this is just light and bright and fruity. There is a little bit of creaminess in this from I think the mala flower as well as the vanilla flavoring. Overall, this is a pretty balanced blend of, of rooibos flavor and vanilla and cream and some fruitiness. Like, I really enjoy it. Now, do I think it tastes like birthday cake? Probably not the kind of birthday cake most Americans are familiar with. Sort of that yellow cake with vanilla buttercream frosting or a chocolate cake with chocolate frosting. A very specific cake that you can only get from Chuck E. Cheese, which 
if you're not from America, I don't think that they have them in other places, but it's like a pizza parlor where they have like a gigantic jungle gym for kids to climb around on and a bunch of arcade games where you can win tickets and then you go cash them in for, you know, like Chinese finger traps and finger puppet monsters and you know, whatever. In my youth, I spent a lot of time at Chuck E. Cheese and got like really a crazy expensive prizes, like a lava lamp and a disco bulb. I don't know, it was pretty cool. They have a very distinct birthday cake there and if my memory serves me, it's just like either a white cake or a yellow cake and it's the frosting that this that this tea reminds me of but it's it's like I think a whipped cream based frosting so it's it's just sort of like bright and airy and fruity and that's what that that's what this kind of tastes like the the birthday cake from Chuck E Cheese now as for my birthday itself it's going to be a little bit different this year even though we're technically out of lockdown, there's still a lot of restrictions in place about how many people can be gathered in one location. So uh, typically the county fair coincides with my birthday and we spend the evening at the fair. I get my beloved corn tato, which is just this baked potato covered in a mess of butter and corn and cheese and sour cream and onions and ugh. Like I know it doesn't sound that exciting when I when I like talk about it, but oh my goodness, when you eat it, it's just like super good. So yeah, sadly the fair's not going on this year. There's no corn tater for me this year. I mean, I'm okay with it. I would rather be safe than sorry. So I, I support, obviously, I'm glad that the county decided not to hold the fair this year. I know not many others are probably as supportive, but you know, I just want everybody to be safe and healthy. I don't really know what the plan is. I, I, I think it might be nice to, to, to like order in so that I don't have to cook. Maybe just take lunch or dinner at the park or, or something where there's not a lot of people around, but we still get out of the house. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens today. You just licking it? What do you think? <laughs> now, what do I hope for my 32nd year of existence? I hope for balance. With my workload increasing and Oliver entering his terrible twos, I haven't had the opportunity to really invest in me time. And yeah, not gonna lie, I am starting to feel the effects of it now. And, and don't get me wrong, this is not unique to me. I, I think this is just like, this is just a byproduct of motherhood. I, I know every other mother in the world probably feels the same way as me. So I hope you find a balance in your life as well. But yeah, I, I really would love to have an hour to, to read a book, like really read a book or, you know, write. I, I really miss writing. Every time I sit down to write, Oliver just comes up and rips the pen out of my hand and then just colors over, over my pages. I have been able to dedicate a little bit of time to writing these last couple of weeks and I just feel a little bit more rejuvenated when I have, when I have allowed myself time to sit down and just write. And of course make YouTube videos because if you've noticed I'm down to one video a week right now and that's because this guy's nap time just doesn't really exist anymore. So finding the time to film has been challenging. But you know what? I just really wanted to, to make this because hello birthday tea. It's my birthday. I'm a Leo. I have to do this. <laughs> that's why he's in it today. That's what we got today. I'm turning 32. I hope for balance in my life. And this birthday cake tea from Bird and Blend is pretty delicious. Also, a shout out to my birthday buddy, Me and My Tea. She also has a July 25th birthday. So, so go ahead and hop over into her YouTube channel and wish her a happy birthday. And also, if you're a fellow July baby, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to shout happy birthday at you. And have you tried birthday cake tea from Bird and Blend? If you have, let me know what you think about it. Also, I know I'm throwing a whole bunch of stuff at you guys right now. Also, what are some of your favorite birthday blends? I, I probably need to scope some out for, 
for next year. And as usual, if you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing. Oh boy! And I hope to see you guys again soon. Bye.